How's it going everyone? This is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about ChargePoint, which was down just over 1% on the day. Many have been asking, hey, Dre, we need an update. If you remember from my previous video, I talked about that area of resistance right at $16. What happened recently? It ended up getting rejected. But you know what? We'll talk about it further in the video. I won't waste any more time. Let's jump into the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you're a shareholder, you're thinking about taking a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're gonna go over is a technical analysis. We're gonna be taking a look at the overall price action. We wanna know support, we wanna know resistance, we wanna know what it looks like in the bearish case scenario and as well as in the bullish case scenario. And then we're gonna be going on Fintel, taking a look at the recent institutional ownership and short interest information. The reason why this is important because it does have an impact on the way the stock performs. And then we're going to be taking a look at the order flow distribution. We want to know the buying and the selling behavior on the retail side and as well as on the institutional side. And then when all of that is done, we'll be going into the final thoughts and as well as some more details. So let's get to it. So we're going to do a technical analysis for charge point. Let's see how it performed on the day. So it ended up closing at $13.69, being down 1.23%. On the low, it tested $13.26 and then on the high, testing $14 dollars and 14 cents when we take a look at the volume stats on the day you can see we traded at 6.536 million shares and the average volume over 10 trading days is at 9.341 million shares so you can see that we did have below average volume on the day and we've seen a slight pullback in the stock now when we take a look at our chart which is a daily chart you can see from the rsi down below it's at 49.12 and then when we take a look at our moving averages here on the chart let me just open it up a little bit we are below the 200 day we're also below the 21 day ema but we're still above the 50 day moving average so you guys can remember from what we did on our last video i left the line here as well i was saying that we could see resistance right here at 1606 and look what happened history did repeat itself we saw this happen on june the 8th and as well as june the 9th we ended up retesting it again and then we ended up selling off i gave that warning out i hope you guys were protecting your profits but aside from that we could see that there's a good amount of selling pressure we see a continuation of lower lows and you also see lower highs as well so taking this into consideration and going into tomorrow you want charge point to show support right here at the 50 day moving average around $13 we saw a low today at $13.26 so if it did break through that level you want to see 13 hold if 13 does not hold then we can see charge point going down to $12 and then we want to see if it's going to bounce it bounced off this area back here on the 14th as you can see and it's done this also towards the end of the May and as well as for the beginning of June. So keep an eye on this $12 area when we break through 13. And if we decide to fall even further, you guys already know what it looks like. That's where we can start having the levels here right around $11. Now, if you want to look for a move to the upside, of course, we need to get above that 21 day EMA at $13.95. The good thing about it, we had a high today at $14.14. So if we can actually make that move up and let's say if we can reclaim maybe around 14 and a half, then we could see what it does as far as going into next week but from what i am seeing all we need to look for is it staying above 13 dollars now let's move on to the short interest information so we're going to take a look at the recent institutional ownership and short interest information for charge points scrolling down on the page green rows indicate new positions while red rows indicate closed positions so when we take a look at the recent filings you can see for june the 28th we have blue horizon that purchased 5246 shares and then we also have wilmington large cap strategy fund class one shares that purchased 3,350 shares for the 27th and we'll take a look for the 24th we have fidelity that purchased 39,887 shares and fidelity zero that purchased 52,335 shares and I'm pretty sure we've already covered the rest now when we take a look at the short interest the off exchange short volume ratio is at 56.07 percent and then for the off exchange short volume it is just over 1.58 million shares scrolling 
down on the page the short shares availabilities at 450,000 updated seven minutes ago and then for the short ball fee rate it is at 4.98 percent when we take a look at the history of the short volume we can see for the close of the 28th it is at 56.95 and then for the close of the 29th being at 56.07 and then when we take a look at the short interest percentage of the float being at 19.74 percent that's right charge point does have short squeeze potential now let's move on to the order flow distribution now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for charge point so we can see on the inflow is 10.97 million and then on the outflow it's at 13.07 million so you had an outflow day take a look at the breakdown on the large it was 3.79 million on the medium it was 3.60 million and then on the small it was 3.58 million taking a look at the outflow side you can see on the large it was 4.37 million on the medium it was 4.44 million and then on the small it was 4.26 million taking a look at the large scale orders in the last five days you can see for june the 30th we had that outflow negative 0.58 million analyzing the numbers even further for the small scale orders that tends to represent the retail side you could see that we had more selling than we had buying. And then when we take a look at what happened on the medium, we had more selling than we had buying. And then for the large, it represents whales, institutions, and funds, we had more selling than we had buying. And then when we take a look at the turnover ratio, it was at 1.94%. So this is not too bad for a stock like ChargePoint that does see a decent amount of trading volume. It also does come with that volatility. And like I said, if you've been paying attention to my videos, you should have been able to make some serious money off of this play, especially if you are trading it. Now let's move on to the final thoughts and we'll go over some more details. So for my final thoughts for ChargePoint, when it comes to the price action, it is very crucial that it holds $13. This is right where we have the 50 day moving average. If it decides to break through it, that's where we start seeing even a lot more weakness. If you remember what I said in my previous video, there's a good chance we're gonna see some resistance right at 16 bucks. And that's exactly where it got rejected and just started selling off from there. So that's why I wanna make sure when you're watching, you are taking notes, you're doing your homework, you're doing your due diligence. I didn't just pick $16 as a random number. We've seen this happen already in the past and then it happened again. So what we want to see going into tomorrow, if you want to see some strength, it needs to get back above the 21-day EMA, which is at $13.95. It did see a high above that level, so that's one thing to keep in mind. But if you want to see some strength, especially going into next week, seeing charge point around in the 14s, it will be much better off. And then see if it can make a move going to 15 would definitely put it in the right direction to try to test $16 again. Also, when we went on Fintel, taking a look at the recent institute ownership we see a good amount of activity institutions purchasing up shares and then when we take a look at the short interest information it does continue to have short squeeze potential so you want to keep a very close eye on this play especially when they do release any catalyst or we see anything coming through the clean energy or the EV sector in regards to news and so forth another point that I want to bring up this high inflationary environment has definitely has done a number on the market as a whole and especially for the companies who have not shown consistent profitability and since charge point does fit in that category that is why you're seeing a lot of ups and downs and volatility in the play but of course if you are a trader you're able to take advantage of this and make money on moves to the downside and as well as for the upside and for all of my investors out there I think I've said this before in the prior videos buying charge point at these levels is just not worth it not with the environments that we are in all you have to do is just wait for it to pull back you jump in and then just keep adding to your position when it has those major dips that is the best way to go about doing it. There's no reason to chase it whatsoever. So I hope you found this video helpful and I can't wait to see how the stock performs going into tomorrow. We'll talk soon.